Hello, and welcome to eMedicore Patient's Corner Series. Today's discussion is on postural drainage with percussion to aid passage of stone fragments after lithotripsy. Kidney stones can be broken into small fragments through various forms of treatments. For example, shockwave lithotripsy, or SWL, or laser lithotripsy. Most of the small stone fragments can be passed spontaneously down the ureter. However, stone or stone fragments located in the lower pole of the kidneys have a tendency to stay there. When an individual stands in an upright position, gravity pulls these fragments down, as seen in the diagram below. Your doctor may ask you to do postural drainage with percussion to aid the passage of the stone fragments. This involves lying down on your side with the hips elevated higher than the chest so the kidneys are tilted down. The elevation and percussion, tapping and shaking motion will help move the stone fragments out of the lower pole into the renal pelvis and the ureter. When you stand up, gravity will help the stone fragments move from the renal pelvis into the ureter and down. Your doctor may ask you to do postural drainage with percussion two times a day for several weeks or more. Here we see two diagrams showing the passing of a stone fragment using the percussion method. Postural drainage has several methods, with some methods being more difficult to follow. In our method, our first step involves drinking approximately two glasses of water, which is about eight ounces per glass. Wait about 30 to 45 minutes before engaging in postural drainage with percussion. The 30 to 45 minute wait allows the body to absorb the water and enables more urine to come out of the kidneys. Put three or four pillows on your bed. The pillows should be stacked and under the hips. Lie on your side with the side that has the kidney stones facing up, parallel to the ceiling. Your chest should be lower than your hips. Then, using your hand that is on the same side as the kidney stones, hold the fingers together to form a cup. Perform percussions or taps on the side and back. This motion will be similar to burping a baby. You may ask somebody to perform the percussion on you. Percussion should be done firm enough but should not hurt you. You should do about two sets of 20 to 30 percussions. After performing the percussions, you should sit up slowly to avoid getting dizzy. Drink another one to two glasses of water to help flush out the stone fragments. It may take some time for the stone fragments to pass. Here we have a video of the postural drainage percussion technique and an image of a cupped hand for the percussion technique. eMedicore, core medical education, for everyone, from everywhere, forever free.